Hey guys, Bella and Nelly here back again with another video and today we will be figuring out what this is. <laughs> Actually, I'm joking. Um, Parku was kind enough to send me some markers to review. Junk. These. <laughs> God. They're the 12 tip, uh, 12 tip, great. 12 color dual tip brush markers and they're actually alcohol based. They're 12 vibrant colors, so I'm excited to use this. Before I start swatching, I just want to point out a couple things I noticed about this marker. Um, so they do have a brush tip and a chisel nib and they do have that gray band around the cap to um, show where the brush nib is. And they also have this little, um, stopper or like piece of plastic that um, comes out of the cap just to prevent it from rolling and um, the barrel is circular but the cap really does help Here are the swatched markers. They do kind of resemble the cap to some degree. I think some of the colors are either more vibrant or more darker than the caps. So I guess that's something you want to pay attention to. My first impressions of the nibs are that it's fairly comparable to the Uhuhu markers, which I have only seldom tried. I will be giving a further review on it after I dabble a little more into these colors. Also, really quickly, I did a blend test. It did take some beating to like get it to thoroughly blend, but I feel like if you tried hard enough, it would blend really good. The markers are actually fairly juicy, which makes it kind of easier to blend. Since I tried blending a blue and a pink, which are two like pretty opposite colors, it blended pretty well despite it not having like a middle color per se. <laughs> I don't know how to speak. <laughs> Anyways, about the piece that I'm going to work on today, it is actually going to be this piece right here. This is my OC IQ. He is a king. <laughs> in my webtoon, The 71 Liars, if you want to check that out. I actually did reuse a panel that I drew in, in one of the episodes and just modified it to make this piece look more um, full, I guess. But his face is almost exactly the same, so I'm literally plagiarizing myself. But I digress. With the parkour markers, I decided to um, pay attention to the colors that were in the set beforehand and I saw that there was a good like variety of blues which was going to be perfect for King IQ here because he has blue hair so what I wanted to do with these markers was focus more on the hair and I will be coloring the skin and maybe everything else with a different brand. All materials I used will probably be in either the description or on the pin comment. Since you guys were um, kind of curious as to how I color the hair or like if I could make a tutorial on how I color hair. I thought this would be a good chance to like explain my process when it comes to hair coloring, maybe. I'm really not a good teacher, so I can't really do tutorials per se, but yeah, I think this video will be just that. <laughs> anyway, first I'll be quickly coloring the skin with another set and I will be coming back when I'm ready to use these parkour markers. <laughs> So I'm going to take a quick break from talking about these markers to talking about my process when it comes to coloring hair, um, hopefully in a little more detail. And before I start this, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am by no means a professional at coloring, so please don't blame me for my technique or the way I teach. Um, I really can't, so I'm going to try my best. Starting off, I figure out my base color. Um, in this case, it's blue because King IQ here has blue hair. 
Then I get two to three markers of that hue, usually ranging from light to dark tones. And something that's really important about my coloring style um, is what I call the outstanding lighter color. <laughs> it's a color that doesn't really match with the base, um, usually a mint or a really light blue or pink. I use this for blending stuff out even more while making it look less like the base. For some reason, I don't know why I do that. Anyways, now that I have my colors, I start in by penciling where I want the highlights to go, usually in the middle of the head thing. Um, so as you've seen, I've started out with the lightest color um, when coloring and then blending it out using my outstanding lighter color, just mapping out where I want the hair to be. I like making it in thick chunks so that I have more surface area to play around with. And then after I finish with the lighter parts, I go back in with the darker parts, focus more on the top of the strand chunks, and then I blend it out until I'm satisfied. And then I just repeat this process for the darker colors. Yes, process. <laughs> Then for the finishing touches, I just go back over with the outstanding lighter color and with the white parts and the highlights I've left out, I usually fill those with other lighter colors such as a light peach color but since I wanted to stick to only using these parkour markers, I just used the pink for this piece because that was what I had. And hopefully this helps. Um, if you guys have any other questions about my hair coloring process, please um, leave it in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them. Also, to those who may be asking, Bun, why is your voice so high in this video? I am confused and scared. Um, my voice does that sometimes. I don't know why. I mean, I could, I could try, I could try making it low, but <laughs> it hurts sometimes, and I don't know why it goes so low so easily sometimes. Anyways, this is just my voice for this video. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the pros and cons of this set, I just want to let you guys know that these are all my opinion and that you shouldn't solely get these markers only because of this video. And I'll be linking Parku's site and their Amazon in the description, so please feel free to check them out if you're interested. So for the pros, these markers came in very juicy which made it easy for me to blend and in general, it was fairly easy to blend these markers even when I used what seemed like opposing colors to blend with each other. Also, these markers are fairly cheap. Um, the last time I checked their website, their price was around $12.99 for the markers, which makes it a buck for these brush tips, and they are significantly cheaper than those bougie brands, but they still work wonders. Also on Amazon, I've seen it as $6.99, which makes it so much cheaper, but worth the quality.
though the set of Parku brush nib markers um, was really small, I could really see it having a huge potential in bigger sets and with more colors because their brush tip does feel really good and it is worth the try. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing this marker in more colors and in bigger sets as well. So moving on to the cons of this set, I would just say that in this set in particular, most of the colors um, were a little too vibrant for me to actually use by itself, and I had to do a lot in order to tone it down. Um, but this just ties back to my fantasy of this marker type being in a larger set. Um, so I really do hope that they make more muted or pastel colors with this brush nib soon. And um, if they do have it, actually, please let me know because I really need it. <laughs> Also, just as a final con thing for these markers, they just have the standard cons that come with every other alcohol markers, like the caps not matching the ink. Um, that could be solved with a swatch card for reference. And additionally, like always, bleeding does happen with alcohol markers, but it could also somewhat be saved by putting a paper behind the piece you're working on. Anyways, the moral of the story is that I'd really recommend these markers to beginners or to those who want to start out with alcohol markers or just brush tips in general um, and just want a small set to start out with. Also, if you do want like a small set of vibrant markers, these are also really good for that. And they're really affordable and they feel really good to draw with. Um, again, Parku's site links are in my bio if you want to check them out, so please do feel free to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching my Parku marker review. If you guys did like this video, please remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want. Um, please hit that notification bell because I post once every blue moon, so that bell will let you know when I post. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.